notice, but Mallory and Vishu are so disgustingly in love. Vishu will walk into the room and she'll yell, Pumpkin Bear! <laughs> and he likes it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Vidya Sagar Bulampali, better known, better known as Vishu's dad. Seeing the way Vishu and Mallory take such good care of their pet dog, Nagel, I'm sure they'll be excellent parents. Hopefully, that day will come sooner than later. So guys, don't wait me wait too long. Vishu called me, I was at one of my museums, middle of the day, it was like 2.30, he's like, bro, you gotta call me. It's like, okay. He's like, you'll never guess who I'm going on a date with. It's like, Mallory from high school. Vishu was so stoked about Mallory. He's like, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's gonna be different than anyone else. And it was, I mean, the next call, so after the first date, you could tell in his voice, he knew that he was marrying this woman. He was so settled on Mallory. He, he was so in love with her after one date. This was the woman of his dreams. Mallory. I love, admire, and respect you more than words can describe. Your kindness, tender heart, selflessness, and drive to improve yourself are just a few of the qualities that I love about you. I am lucky that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. In return, I offer you these vows. I vow to always love, honor, and respect you. I vow to always make you feel heard. I promise to make you feel safe and understood. I promise to love you unconditionally and grow with you in mind, body, and spirit. I promise to always be by your side as we build our lives together, to make our house a home, to build a family with you, and to empower you to work towards your hopes and dreams. I vow to share in your joys and sorrows and all that life has to offer. I promise to provide you a life filled with adventure, incredible food, and endless laughter. Loving you is easy, you are my forever, my biggest supporter, my best friend, woman of my dreams, and soon to be my wife. Oh my God, you look so beautiful. Wow. Oh, let me walk around, I gotta see this. Wow. You like the veil? Love it. <laughs> to the love of my life. <laughs> take a deep breath, take a deep breath, inhale. I can't talk and cry at the same time. You're good, you just did it. That's good. Okay, you guys just laughed, so thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Vishu, if anyone told me the sweet, well-mannered little boy from seventh grade was going to be my husband 20 years later, I would have been surprised, but excited for the future. Thank you for being you. From this day forward, I pray we continue to grow and evolve together and love each other more and more every day. You're my best friend, now and forever. I look forward to a lifetime with you full of laughter, love, happiness, family, dogs, and adventure. I can't wait for this next phase of life. It's going to be the best because it's you, my one and only. Love, Mallory. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the soul who makes you feel complete. The soul who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The soul with whom you share a bond that is so special, so pure, so wonderful, that you cannot imagine spending a day in your life without them. Vishu is the closest person whom I can call my brother. Our families met by chance many years ago and we've been best friends ever since. Please rise for the bride.
some of my earliest memories of Vishu are eating aunties, Anita aunties, delicious potato curry. She was a phenomenal cook and would certainly light up the room. Earlier today, when we were outside, the sun was beaming. And to me, it felt that she was smiling down on Mallory and Vishu. Ever since my dear wife Anita passed away, about 12 years ago, I tried hard to be a father, mother and sibling to my son. There were many road bumps on the way, but together we overcame it successfully with the help of family and friends. I'm proud of the wonderful, competent and good person he has turned out to be, well liked by one and all. I'm sure his mom up there is proud of him and showering her blessings on him. As you are the moon of his life, he shall be your sun and stars. Your love shall be as ever-present as those two celestial bodies, even though they are sometimes hidden from one another's sight. Your love will be the guiding force that charts the course of your tomorrows, holds your worlds together in difficult times, and will make life itself shine bolder and brighter than we human beings have a right to dream of. Do you promise to love and cherish Mallory, sharing in her happiness and her sorrows, for all of your days. I do. Mallory, do you promise to love and cherish Vishwath, sharing in his happiness and his sorrows for all of your days? I do. By the power vested in me by the state of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before the universe. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Through my friendship with Vishu, I've been uh, sort of immersed in the Indian culture in a number of curious ways. We started out young with our sleepovers. We would have a sleepover, watch a PG movie that was mildly edgy. And then around 1, 2 a.m., you'd have an influx of Indian family that would arrive. So we'd be out cold asleep on the floor, and then it's like, and everybody walks in, it's a party all over again, and we're like, what is going on? This is incredible. All right, here we go. I've been getting ready to write this speech since I was about five years old. Just so you all understand how much Mallory meant to me, every time I had to write a paper in school on who I look up to most, or my biggest inspiration, or who I want to be like when I grow up, Mallory. Every time. Sorry, Mom. I love you. Uh, who knew many years later, after high school, that you and Vishu would reconnect? And now, here we are. You're both married. I didn't know it then, but I realize now really how empathetic, caring, and helpful Vishu and his family are. Uh, and that years later, you would become a best friend, my brother. Vishu and I have always looked after each other. And Mallory, I said this to you yesterday. I hand this baton off to you. I am so happy for the both of you and eternally grateful that he has met the woman of his dreams. I wish you all the happiness and the love in the world. Congratulations, and I love you both very much.
Okay, here we go. Look at me. One, two, three. This is so good. Thank you, Kevin and David. Oh, that's nose is in Thank you. You feel pretty, right? Yeah, I feel like a princess. No more nervousness. Don't be yeah. nervous. Yeah, I think it's good. Very good. <laughs> what do you mean? It's no, it's um, like, aww. Perfect. Oh, that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh.